presented for your consideration. Yeah, that was a lame Futurama reference right there. So this is a Mio DigiWalker GPS. And besides being uh, an honest to goodness unpacking video, uh, I try I will try to present this device to you and um, to see whether this is still re relevant. Well, you know, as a backup GPS unit in the modern times. Now, I got this thing from a relative of mine who just kept it, hoarded it. It's one of those gadgets that uh, you tend to keep after you purchase it. You don't really use, the, use it that much and you consider it a uh, waste to just throw it out and you just hold on to it uh, for years uh, at a time. But anyway, this is how I got a hold of the Mio DigiWalker GPS. And this uh, is uh, quite an interesting looking box. You can notice the dust here. That's because I kept it in... Um, well, I didn't keep it at home. I kept it at a storage uh, uh, place, um, place where I store every piece of old tech that I own. And uh, well, the, the box is kind of interesting. It's uh, clearly, um, well, you know, it's, uh, it's an attempt uh, from Mio to present you with something more interesting than your typical uh, three um, three dimensional box you have this interesting folding uh, a half folding design right here but the materials are just basic cardboard so nothing out of the ordinary this is um, a mounting point with a connector uh, attached to it and this is I don't know the back housing for the GPS it's supposed to um, create additional uh, strength or uh, rigidity when you place it in the car or you attach it to your belt. I don't know, remains to be seen. This is the actual unit and please excuse uh, the dust. I will grab a cloth um, in a few moments and show you what this design, what, what this uh, GPS looks like. Uh, without all this grime on it but let's see what we get here additionally so you can see I have two SD cards I will inspect them to see what they are all about probably two maps two separate sets of maps and here in the other segment of the box I have some uh, cloned CDs the booklets for the GPS, additional CDs with maps, and wouldn't you know it, well, more CDs. <laughs> so yeah, who knows, maybe this thing uh, will function as a backup unit. So I'll just plug in this, uh, this charger and clean up the GPS and we'll be right back with the Mio DigiWalker. So this Mio GPS is actually uh, the C520 model and it was launched in April 2007. Now it's made out of uh, plastic entirely but the quality is rather nice, no uh, excessive creaking or uh, uh, bending or flexing. Um, I guess it's about average for this uh, year and uh, type of device. There's no metal anywhere to be found, but that's okay, I guess. My only, only concern would be the quality of this backfiring speaker right here, a mono um, unit. But we'll get to that later on. Now, what impresses me really is the display, which has a 4.3 inch um, diagonal. Let's turn it on and see what's what. So it is quite annoying that I get this uh, screen saver animation type of uh, image here, like it's like the GPS is trying to connect to the PC, even though it's only plugged into a power outlet. 
But uh, anyway, I charged up the device to about 40%. So the only thing I'm interested in today is trying to figure out whether this 400 megahertz uh, CPU powered uh, uh, Mio GPS with a measly 64 megabytes of RAM and 2 gigs of ROM is able to function as intended, meaning like a GPS unit. So as, as you can see, the uh, well, the device works rather okay. We have, well, actually we have 28 uh, percentage of battery left, so we better move along. So this thing is a capacitive touchscreen and really it's working rather, rather uh, cumbersome and it doesn't offer any tactile feedback. It would function uh, ideally with a stylus though I don't seem to have one at hand and neither does the device so you have a few options here uh, the language right now is Romanian but let's try to uh, switch it to something else uh, okay so there we go English I don't know if you can see this the lighting I use is not that great I'm trying to light up the device, but in the process, this TFT, this weak TFT with low net um, capabilities um, is not showing all that great on the, on the video. So anyway, let's try the backlight. Okay, there we go. So let's increase the backlight. There we are battery capacity is too low for such a backlight okay there we go so we'll use uh, some over a uh, medium settings and try to connect to something resembling GPS instructions so let's go to Mio map and see whether we can connect this thing to the global positioning system it seems to be doing something anyway this would be actually a wonder let's try the map okay and let's try to triangulate or rather to um, recalibrate it okay but the sounds are rather unpleasant as mentioned before in the intro due to this uh, noisy but uh, very low quality single uh, speaker on the back I don't know if I'm going to be able to set up this GPS right now but I will surely try and press anything I see so I could attempt to synchronize it or rather to um, align it with its current position so I don't know what I'm doing I'm just pressing buttons here okay so let's press start So I'm fairly certain there are no maps on this SD card. So what we can do now is try to replace this card, which says Mio Map 2008, with I have it right here, another uh, map, which says. Mio Western Europe there we have it so let's plug this in and see whether we're getting somewhere or not so the device seems to have reset it's resetted itself um, by the way this is actually a smart device and it is you running on some sort of Windows but I don't know which one let me just tell you right now so it's supposed to be a Windows CE 5.0 core now I don't know what that is I'm not so familiar with uh, GPS devices so anyway I'll try again to connect it 
to the maps and see whether we're getting anywhere with this thing. As all GPS units, you have an additional outlet here to connect an external antenna should you wish to do so for extra signal and there's a mini jack port here for your headphones and that's about it a mini usb connector which is always a pleasant uh, uh, surprise or <laughs> rather a pleasant uh, encounter uh, devices from this era didn't really uh, standardize connector types or cables so anyway right now it's telling me to select a city from Romania so I will do that and search my current city which is Orada okay and the battery is too low and the list so it seems that uh, my attempt at connecting uh, this Mio GPS to the global positioning system today has been unsuccessful but at least I found out that this device is a functioning unit sort of looking sturdy I'm not really impressed by the design of the all the belt quality and I don't really feel any attachment to it I don't know I guess you guys should tell me what I should do with this uh, should I give it away uh, should I sell it? Should I recycle it? Um, it seems to be a functioning unit. I might be compelled into giving it away though. Uh, at this point in my rather humble YouTube endeavor, I'm not really able to uh, support uh, or to uh, pay for any um, postage or uh, delivery uh, fees and that is an overly long way of saying that if you want this thing I can give it away for free but I will not pay uh, for shipping well maybe I could do an exception and pay for about 10 euros worth of shipping but uh, seeing as I'm from um, the Eastern Europe uh, I guess that will not cover that much so anyway long story short uh, I collect uh, and hoard and sometimes just uh, store weird quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this Mio GPS C520 and I'm willing to give it away uh, if it doesn't cost me more than 10 euros for shipping so starting from now this GPS will be available for as a giveaway for one month with the condition that it doesn't cost me more than 10 euros to ship it so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye